Hey everyone, I'm back in Ellensburg. Um, again, I kind of saying goodbye to my uh, days as a single guy. So every weekend, I, when I have a chance, I come out here. And um, last night, I got to view the Great Dipper. Um, we had a very clear night just like that, and um, Great Dipper was uh, quite visible. And uh, I'll be including a video of all of the space pictures that I've been taking recently, just like I did last year. Um, anyways, um, I really, really, really am trying to squeeze all the, all the time I can get as a single guy alone. And um, one reason I really love Ellensburg, or any small town, is that the pace is really nice and slow. Over in Seattle, just the other day, I went to do laundry at a laundromat, and um, I had put my clothes on top of another, that I had been done drying, I put them on top of another washing machine. And this big guy just goes, excuse me. And he should have known that. I was, I was going to be out of there in five seconds. He just couldn't wait five seconds. And it just, it just ruined the whole day for me. I had a good day up until that point, you know. And, and it just ruined it. The spirit of the day. And uh, here in Ellensburg, pace is nice and slow. You know, people don't go, excuse me. They chat with you. You know, they, they go, how do you like the weather? And, um, you know, or... Uh, if, if I have my camera and my gear around, they're curious about what I'm going to see next. And then they, 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 they say, can I please use the washing machine? And, 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 and I, I like this kind of lifestyle a whole lot better. And uh, over in Seattle, it's just crazy. One thing that also drives me crazy in Seattle is that people mind their other people's business way too much. So many, many years ago, uh, this was long before most people started to read food ingredients. I was eating a lot healthier than most of my peers and it drove a lot of my peers crazy because we wouldn't be able to go to a restaurant or anything. Now it's the other way around. Now when I buy food that is slightly unhealthy, oh my god in Seattle I get all sorts of criticism in the, in the store and um, it's kind of interesting because 20 years ago the demographics of who eats healthy has changed a little bit. See, I can go to that store and buy anything without people staring at me. Sometimes I'm not even buying it for myself. Sometimes it's to prepare food for a party and then people... Anyways, um, uh, the demographics of who eats healthy has changed a lot. 20 years ago, it used to be if you ate healthy, it's because you had a reason to. You had, you, you had ADHD or you had a chronic condition or something. You needed to control it. Nowadays, it's everybody, and I, well, 20 years ago, you ate healthy, people laughed at you, you know, uh, what do you have, and you know, how's, how's your diet working for you, and nowadays it's like, uh, I eat healthier than you, and uh, I, I can't seem to find the peace uh, involved with that. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, just looking back, and uh, it's going to be a little trickier once I get married, you know, we're going to have all sorts of criticism like that. Um... The other pro the other problem with um, see I I like to keep my food habits to myself nowadays and getting married is going to be kind of challenging with that. See the problem with food is that it forces you to be open about it. You would never go up to your friend and share your uh, prescription drugs with somebody, right? You know they have a headache and you share like prescription drugs. You would never do that. I guess some people do, but not not the mainstream of people. At the same time, you feel very comfortable talking about various lifestyle matters, right? What sports team you love, um, what you love to watch on TV, and food kind of falls into like a gap between those two. It's, it's, it's kind of one and the other, and it, it just falls into this weird gap in our lives, it seems like, and that's going to be a challenge. I used to really despise when I would go to a business trip, because we had to turn in our reimbursements for food, and it, it gave my uh, manager a chance to see my eating habits, and then she would just make all sorts of commentary about it. Of actually, I think she wanted to learn how to eat healthy, and um, or other other people also felt that way at our school. It drove me crazy because there, I only have so, so many hours in the day. I, I want to devote them to other things. I don't want to just talk about healthy eating when I'm already doing it. You know. Oh, um, nowadays, um, over in Seattle, you can't do anything without people digging their head into into your business, is what I'm trying to say. Here in Ellensburg, you know, I point the camera to the sky and it's all me. Over in Seattle, people get really curious about what I'm taking a picture of. Uh, sometimes, uh, 
people think I'm spying on somebody, you know, taking a picture of them or something like that. Like, I have so much time on my hands. Um, anyway, I'm trying to, to get away from it all is what I'm trying to say. Um, I actually thought about moving here to Ellensburg permanently, but I also realized that um, I like to actually get away. And if I'm in Ellensburg, then it won't be going away when I when I get out of everything, you know, so <laughs> it's kind of weird, my relationship uh, to this area. Um, what else has been going on lately? Oh, um, I thought I'd talk about how I started um, discovering that life is so much better as a single guy. Um, eight years ago, I had just broken up with a girl who was taking advantage of me, and... Um, the week after I broke up with her, I had an event I wanted to go to. It was a coin show, and I couldn't find another girl to go with me to that. I actually posted on uh, several dating sites, and I couldn't find anybody who was interested in a coin show, which is not that uncommon, because coin show are mostly guys. And I almost didn't want to go, and uh, I still remember it was a very sunny day, just like today. It was, it was in June. Um, I'm recording this in May, so... Um, I uh, went to the coin show anyway, and I had the best time of my life. I didn't have to answer to nobody. And so, um, a year after that, um, I was still single, and I was going on a uh, going to a conference in Boston, and um, I was hoping to enjoy that trip um, all alone again. And the, the the first day of that conference, I met a, I met a girl at the conference. And it just highlights that when I'm single, I get to mess around with so many people. Uh, not mess around in the sense of going into the bedroom, but mess around in terms of, of having conversations about all sorts of things, like viewing outer space or, uh, or um, just anything. Anything that fancies me at the moment. Writing computer games or um, uh, the, the coin collecting. Although some of these topics are a little bit tricky. Uh, uh, Some of these topics are a little bit tricky. Sometimes I talk about coin collecting and people think I'm rich and they want to take advantage of me. Uh, so uh, finding the right topic has been a little bit tricky to me because of, because of my interests. Anyways, I'll have to continue later because I'm uh, running out of battery power. But this is probably one of the last few weekends I get to enjoy like this. So I'm really trying to take it in. Thanks for watching.